Hey guys, Michelle here from Cashel Creations and I am so excited to share with you my haul video from the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo here in Orlando, Florida. Um, this happened uh, this past weekend on May 19th and 20th and I was able to shop in some of the stores from the exhibitors that were at the list and I can't wait to show you all my finds. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to give you sort of a lay down of the exhibitors that came. I'm very excited that we had such a great turnout. As you can see, I felt that this year was a lot better than last year. We did have a variety of things. Some things were missed um, in the sense of what I did not see, but hopefully we'll get more next year. So here is a list of the exhibitors names as well as their websites in case you want to check them out. So I'm going to show you um, section by section of the stores that I purchased from. First place up is going to be Pear Blossom Press. Now in my make and take, oh as you can see we got chocolates. <laughs> in my make and take or the mega make and take that they had on Thursday which um, I'll link the video down below if you didn't check that one out. I was able to do the um, grill that had a light up in it and I was like so floored and excited <laughs> that I wanted to make sure that when their show floor room opened that I picked up some of their light packs. Now I just got a three pack. They do have an option of a one, three or five and I just didn't want to not have one on hand if I wanted to. So I picked this one up. Here is what she had given me if I wanted to check out uh, their website or tutorials on how to use it. So if you're picking up one for yourself, there is that information. Um, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's addicting. It's just gratifying to know that you could press a button and it lights up and you're just like a kid in a candy store. At least that's how I felt. Um, she did have these clear stamps that you could use to put on your cards if you're using one of the uh lights so you know to hit press um she did have other options in the store that you can scratch which is why you see one there um and other types of things that you can use with your card so i, I picked this little one up because i don't have anything like that i mean i guess you could write the word press if you wanted to but since i was there i snagged this one and then because i spent 20 dollars for my whole purchase i got these free essential gel pens which i thought were so cool so they come in white, silver, gold ink, and it's a medium point. So I was really happy about that. Then um, she told me about these acetate panels that are already pre-scored as well as pre-taped for you to use for shaker cards. So you basically, here, let me show you, because she kind of showed me how they would be utilized. So let's pretend that this paper back here is your card you would line it up to your card base and pretend it's the whole sheet because obviously I don't have one with me. Um, it does say to remove the protective film, so you definitely want to do that. And once you fill, so you're going to put this behind your card panel, fold this behind your card panel on the bottom, fill it with all your shaker bits, then close this, and it basically keeps all your shaker bits inside, and you can shake, shake, shake all you want. So it was pretty cool. She showed me a sample on her showroom floor, and I really liked it, so I snagged some. Um, as you can tell, it tells you the size that you really want to utilize when making them. So this again, I picked up from Pear Blossom Press. Press, press. So there were just a few things there. Then while we were there, they do do door prizes. So you would enter in a kiosk the door prizes. And my mom actually won something. She won a $20 gift card at Petticoat Parlor. Now, I didn't really find something specific. It took me a few minutes to figure out what to get. <laughs> so to spend $20, I picked up these cute little um, stencils. So here's one. Ah! Here's one of Daisy. And it says adorable on it. Then they had one of Goofy. This says Gosh. They had one of Pluto that said Cheerful. 
they had one of Mickey and had magic on it, which I thought was so cute. It's kind of what drove me to pay attention to this. And they were all the way at the bottom. I'm like, they should have been at the top. <laughs> um, this is Minnie Mouse. It says Believe. And then they had Donald. Or was that Daisy? I thought I got a Daisy one. Oh, I did. This one was Daisy. I think I said it was Donald. That said adorable. And this one is Donald. This says Haya. And then again, I didn't meet my $20 minimum, so then I picked up these um, gelatos. The one is called passion fruit and one is called blueberry. If anyone knows what we're supposed to do with these, please let me know. I actually picked them up because I thought it would be a cool medium to try that I don't have in my stash. So if you don't know, no problem. I'm going to go look it up <laughs> and figure out how to utilize these. But um, from what I saw in their booth, it pretty much stated that you can apply some uh, water to it and make it you know mixed media um, distress look so I'm very interested to try that so again this was a $20 freebie from our door prize winning so I picked all this stuff up and again it was from petticoat parlor so I snagged that up then I found out they had an echo park booth yes guys echo park I was super super excited Can you tell how excited I was? <laughs> so pretty much they have the same prices at the convention as they do on their warehouse um, deals, not the mystery boxes, mainly when they're just reducing their inventory. But the difference is, is that you didn't have to wait for it and you didn't have to pay for shipping, right? So I went through all their stuff. Some stuff I don't even see on their website when they do them. So I was really glad I found some of this stuff. Um, this one is a designer die. And basically, it is just a camera with the word happy in it. So I picked that one up. Then, as you can see, I acquired all these lovely stamps. Like, I need more, right? But that's how we all look at that. So this one here is the Away We Go. Away We Go collection. And so uh, I just really liked the stamp aesthetic as well as the, the um, collection itself, but I really wanted this, so I got that for my stash. Then they had this one, it was called Endless Slummers, and now all these stamps were $5 each. Like I said, they were no different than if you were to purchase them online. So I wasn't like upset about that, I was okay because it was no different in price. And so this one was kind of cool, it was all summerish. And I like the sand castle and the little fishy, the pineapple. So I picked that one up. And this one is from Wish Upon a Star. I liked how it's all one um, stamp, so you can do as you please. This one's from Let's Go Anywhere Collection. And again, the RV and your phone and all this, all these different. Um, images that would go perfectly with any collection truly and then this one's from dinosaurs which i have the collection in my stash and i'm so meaning to do a tutorial on it to make an album and so i keep acquiring little things here and there just like for my last hobby lobby haul with the dinosaur charm so i as as i'm acquiring things my mind is going with okay this would be better in the tutorial this will be better in the and making everything go as I want them to go. It's funny how you have to piece things together. These, um, this one here is from the the Witches and Wizards 2. And again, it just screams Harry Potter to me. So I acquired that one. This one's Halloween Party. And Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. And I just love the skeleton guy. And so I picked this one up. This one's from Scenic Route. And I just love the stamps very vintage for me so I picked that one up then they had the six by six paper pads and so I found the away we go paper pad which goes with the Sam collection so I picked that one up if you have not seen this one we can go over it really fast I don't believe I have this one in my stash but in case you do or you've seen it from someone else or you don't have it we'll just go through it really quick I really love all these cute cut aparts and all the stamps 
and more cut aparts and the gloves and the hearts with the little navigation symbol that map is just so pretty and we got clouds and we have more cut aparts and flowers and we have hot air balloons and we have our room keys, like I showed you in my video from the Hobby Lobby. We could definitely do some of these, room 112, relax. Definitely gonna have fun with that. And then we are back again to the beginning. So I really, really like that. So I picked up that one. And then um, they had, it's a girl. I don't have anything that's girl themed. And one of my friends had a girl and had a boy a year prior. And so I was thinking about doing a combination album for them where since the boy is now a year older do something where it's mixed where you have the boy first and then the girl after in the same album so i'm thinking about doing something like that so i wanted to pick up this because i wanted to mingle in with other paper collections and colors and so this was perfect because again it was right there so i love the pastel colors very cute I mean, even in fact, you don't really have to make this for a girl. It looks like it could actually be for a boy as well. So I might, because I got two of them, do that. But it's just so subtle and precious in my mind. So obviously the things with girl on it would be pertaining to a girl. But the colors are so pretty. Definitely a variety. And you have all these farm animals so cute baby pins and outfits and rainbows and flowers and then more cut aparts and I think we're at the beginning again so I picked up two of these and they also had the sticker pack which I'm glad for they didn't have a lot but they did have some that were already um that I already had and so when I saw that they had the sticker book for the same collection I didn't see any ephemera for it so I'm glad I got this because you could always use your um, sticker backing eraser which I think is just baby powder in my mind um, to make the stick to go away and then you can add it on your foam dots or make it just an ephemera in itself so I really like that so these, I believe, are It's hard to move it, so bear with me, guys. Oh, I really like that banner. That's so cute. So you have 16 pages of stickers. You have ones with sentiments on it. You have ones with animals. You have the alphabet. You have tags. You have banners. These are flags because you have a crease down the center. Hopefully you guys can see that where you can fold it in half if you want to. We have border strips. And then you have all the numbers, which is kind of cute. And I want to say that repeats. Yes. So you get two of it, which is perfect, because if I incorporate it as two, two different albums, I have enough stickers. So I got that. And then I found <laughs> some paper collections. They had a promo going on. I think if you bought... Five. Did I buy five? No. I think if you bought four, then you got it for $28. And then if you bought one, it was $8. So obviously, the more you buy, the less it is. So I picked up this Summer Dreams. Um, I mean, so, yeah, Summer Dreams. I don't think I have this one in my collection. I tried to pick some that weren't there <laughs> in my stash. But I did something I probably should have done that I didn't do. And that is that if you're ever gonna go to a convention like this and you know who's gonna be there, go through your stash and take inventory and film it basically. So you know what you have and you're not purchasing duplicates. Um, I should have done that and I didn't do that. But to me, either way, if I have this collection or not, I am satisfied with it because I love these color concepts. Sorry about that, guys. Someone came to the door. So, so this one's called Summer Dreams. And basically, we have the tickets on one side. And we have polka dots. We have cut-aparts. 
and we have like a mermaid kind of concept we have bikini tops and bottoms and we have flamingos which i absolutely love we have one with sunglasses and that looks like a boardwalk style wood here oh my god this is gorgeous it looks like paint strips basically and these are just little tiny x's this here is a cute plaid for summer and then we have a bunch of different sayings then we have this cute little uh, camera or insta camera if you want to call it that and then we have triangles on a grid we have ice cream and popsicle sticks and then we just have stripes i love these ferris wheels this is so pretty probably should have gotten two packs of this then we have one that is a color concept with um i want to call it like a faded ombre look of a rainbow oh my god these are so cute with the little popsicle sticks we have more cut up hearts and watermelon then we have strips which i really love this because i like to use these in in the the spine of a folio or you know just to add it on a border to maybe um support a picture which are really good or you know you cut it in half and put it behind the picture to bring it as a layered concept so those are always good to have and oh my god this is beautiful look how pretty that is love it and then it also comes with stickers, which is what I really love about these collection. It kind of gives you every little thing that you need. Um, obviously, there's additional things to every collection, but I feel like the essentials are provided to you. So that, again, was the Summer Dreams. And then I got Bundle of Joy, a new edition. So this is very different from it's a girl the color schemes are off, also off where this is more a pastel and this is a little bit more of a richer color they didn't have it's a girl in the 12 by 12 which i wish they did because then i could use um the 12 by 12 in the same format when making the album but that's okay so here are your uh, cut aparts, and then on the back end you have buttons, which are super cute. Here are more cut aparts that you can utilize, and you have more buttons. <laughs> are there two of everything in here? Let me see. Yes, they are. No wonder. Okay, so here's one with flowers, and then you have one with polka dots, and then we have one with um, the alphabet. On the other side has these hearts, which I like how randomly you have a whole heart and one that are, are empty and solid. Very different. Ugh, look at this confetti. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like to me. And look at the hearts. Super cute. And then this other side are just X's in yellow. And then we have a nice plaid. And then the other side is green. And then we have these adorable elephants. And then the other side are flowers. This is super cute. And then again, we get a sticker 12 by 12 sheet. So I just love the color concepts. I was kind of shocked that I got two of everything. But I will take it 12, 12 by 12 double-sided pages hmm, interesting the next one I got was um, a very Merry Christmas I did haul this one in um, the winter haul videos for Echo Park I'm not gonna do it again because I feel like I already did it but it's very vintagey if you haven't seen that one I will see if I can link it down below but um, you basically see all the different colors up here of your pages and it does provide you with the two cut aparts and your sticker sheet. I'm glad I got another one because sometimes when they're gone, they're gone and yeah, anyways, so I picked that one up. And then the last one I got was Dive Into Summer. I know I do not have this one. 
Um, so we're gonna open it up. What I fell in love with were these girls on their um, towel or their floaty. Just reminds me of going to like the Lazy River at one of the theme parks. And so I'm like, that would be so cute to scrapbook. So I picked this one up actually mainly for that. I mean, do any of you ever just choose a collection because of one, one image or one pattern paper? I'm kind of curious. Please let me know down below because obviously that's what I just did with this one. Uh, <laughs> so dive into um, the summer is the collection here. And to me, it kind of gives me a little bit of a boyish vibe, but I, I know you can make it feminine, but that's kind of like the colors are very... Um, bright to me. In the back you have um, your red polka dots. Then here are all your cut aparts. And again, I get my lovely lady on her uh, towel. And oh, this is so pretty. Gives me Hawaiian vibes thing. Then we have all these flip flops. And we have, it kind of looks like a mosaic pool bottom. And then here we have different sayings for summer. In the back we have starfish. Oh, I got a guy on a floaty. I love how this says summer. This is, this is summer. Best summer ever. Show, yeah. <laughs> and then we have some hibiscus. And then we have a uh, little Volkswagen with some confetti. It looks like on the sand. And then we have a mixture of everything with the cut aparts. And you know what I'm going to do look at that yumminess i wish they made the whole page like that that is so freaking amazing i love it so yeah i'm really glad i got this oh on the back it's just good so you know what page i'm gonna use it's this one and look at all these sand castles with different color uh flags and then on the back we have an array of color schemes for the collection and then we have all the floaties yep and then we have a back is just an uh, image. We have more cut aparts. And then we have some images of the ocean. Oh, you know, before I even got to the page, look what they did for me. They must have known. Michelle was going to ask for it, and Michelle is going to get it. I love this page. Absolutely love this page. And then on the back, we have stripes. It's kind of ironic that that happened. Um, then we have sunglasses. And then on the back we have palms, limbs, or, or branches. And then we have our 12 by 12 sticker. And look what I see there. Dream getaway. I definitely have to do those room keys. So this was the last collection I picked up from Echo Park's location. So let me move all this stuff to the side. Now, I'm not a big fan of photo play. I'm going to be honest with you. I just don't really like their colors per se. I haven't really liked anything except for when I went to their booth this year. <laughs> and so this is the stuff that I did pick up from photo play. It wasn't much, but um, I just like some of their stuff just does not call to me. I, I, I'm not saying that they're bad because you choose what you like um but i just i just couldn't i don't know what it is like simple stories in echo park those color combinations and the graphics and the collections that they choose just it draws my eye to say yes give it to me um for photo play i just i don't get that same desire for some reason um and maybe it's just i gotta see it more often so i'm not sure but their fright night collection i fell in love with and it could also be because i love halloween <laughs> so um, what I did pick up was the things that I did like in their shop and so their Fright Night collection was one of them and they actually had their ephemera bit which you can see all the different options here. They have a cute moon and the cat and the ghost. I just, I love the colors in this is what just calls me. They also had stamps with the coordinating dies and guess what guys, this was only $10.00. For both. For both. So basically it's five for the stamps, which I just showed you I paid at Echo Park five dollars for their stamps and five dollars for the die. I mean, I just think that's insane. 
So I picked this one up. I do like the ghost. That's really what drove my attention there because I think that the ghost is amazing. And then obviously everything else is going to come with it, which yes, please. But I mean, you can kind of see there's some things that you're not getting a, a die for, which you don't really need in my opinion, but the boo and the spooky, you know, and all that other stuff there is just amazing. So I picked that one up. And then as you all know, I love Disney. So I picked this one up as well. And this one had um, their Day at the Park collection, which I don't have, but I just love their uh, Disney options. And so I acquired this again for 10 bucks, so five for each. And you know, it could go with anything. It doesn't really have to go with um, photo play. So I picked that one up. They also had um, some stamps and dies that were separate. I don't remember the price for these colors, stamps, or circles, to be honest with you, but I do love stamp style stamps. Say that 20 million times. Um, and I liked how they had different font styles for some of their um, sentiments. So, you know, you can never have too many, right? Number 1225. That's pretty cool. So I got this one. They also had this etched nested. Um, I guess tag pendant shape and I don't have anything like this in my stash that is an etched um, format so I picked this one up and then they had this gigantic stamp <laughs> what I liked most about it was not just because it had light bulbs in it but because I could color it if I wanted to or I can randomly put ink and make it more of a distressed background so they had one that was smaller, but I really don't have a lot of huge stamps in my collection of my stash. And so I picked this one up since it was available on hand. And then I'm going to show you... Ah. So here is the Fright Night collection that they had available in the 12 by 12 There we go. I think I wasn't really in frame completely. Um, and so I've been wanting this since they rolled out last year. Did not get my hands on it. Kind of glad I did it because I bought it this year to play with. And I want to share with you guys what the collection is all about. So again, obviously it's Fright Night, so it's Halloween based. But these ghosts, oh, love it. Um, I love how you have the different color concepts as you're not used to seeing in the other collections with the other brands. I feel it's like really, really, to me... Halloween so um, these were those two pages look at these potions and then the back side super fun oh, look at all these candies and of course you get two pages of everything so I'm just going to show it to you like this this is really pretty I love this the polka dot colors and we get some uh, skulls with the crossbones and black and orange and then we have the black and white stripes I love this I love the colors how they integrated with one another look at that teal it just pops and then the back just says spooky and then we have the ghost swirling around and then the other side are spider webs and then you get a 12 by 12 sticker sheet to go with my ephemera bits that I just showed you guys. Super excited. So that is that collection. Again, it's called Fright Night. And so then they had um, a bunch of single pages that I picked up. Um, since the item I purchased, since the items I purchased were greater than $20, I was able to get a freebie, which was this one. And I'm really excited about it because I've seen people haul this and I really like the black and white concepts of it. I thought it's very monotone and generic. And even if you wanted to, you can probably use your own markers and just jazz it up with your own colors. So I want to show you guys real quick. Possibilities are endless with this collection, I feel. So, again, it's black and white, basically, it's little one. And as you can see, it's exactly that. So, if you love to color, this might be something you like because you're going to get two of everything. So, even if you wanted to, you can make one blue and one pink. 
or you know boy or girl because as you see you have it's a girl on one side and it's a boy on the other that's pretty ingenious if you think about it so here are some uh animals i even wonder if you can use your distress oxides and like just paint add some distress to it some color that would be actually a lot of fun here are some rainbows some clouds and suns and stars and then you have a stripe image here are some elements for the baby and then look at this how cute this is it's little hard stars and little dots everywhere love that here are i guess some just random patterns and then you have the alphabet on the other side here it looks like a forest with your little deers and then you have polka dots and then you get your sticker sheet so this you might not be able to color because it feels like that it's not paper paper it's um how to explain it i'm sure you know what i'm talking about but um it's not glossy but it's not matte either so that you might want to test it out before you do anything so again that one was um the freebie that i got after spending 20 dollars, which i did spend about 60 for everything here i could tell you the total <laughs> but i can't tell you what everything was so this would be the final section to um the photo play booth they had random ones and i basically went through i think they had like eight bins and you just figure out what you want uh so this one is from border cards and it had like um the astronomy in the back so i thought that was kind of cool this one was the only one they had i was looking for two because i like to have two of every paper when they're singles because um, you never know what side you're going to use and i thought that was kind of different but they don't have a name on it, so I can't give that to you. This one is crazy for you, and I just loved the little Indian animals. They're in their little gear. And then on the back is like a foresty color. This one's called Are We There Yet? And it was just like an adventure field filled um, travel paper. As you can see, I bought two of them. This one is um, Mickey Mouse, but in red. And then you have one side big and one side small. This one, I just loved the cut parts. It's from Get Lost. And I only got one of these. It has little airplanes in the back. This one's called Confetti. And I just love the cut parts. It just reminded me of summer. And you could definitely do a lot of things with it. And then the back has uh, the confetti swirls. This one's from Creepy. Did I get two of these? Yeah, I got two of these. And then the back side has these cute little cats. Who can go wrong with kitty cats in black, of all things. And then they had some Star Wars stuff, which it was pretty cool. So here's my Yoda. My nieces love Star Wars. So you have it. Here's like the concept. One side is bigger face, one side smaller face. I got that one. Then we have Darth Vader, the same thing. One's big, one side is bigger, the other side is smaller. And then they have Darth Vader again, but in a black, on black concept. So I picked this one up too. And then they had the Mickey Mouse in black on the same concept. And one side is small and one side is big. Then they have this one, it's called Antique. And I got two of those with this color wallpaper. I guess it goes this way. So I picked that one up. Then I did volleyball in high school. And obviously I didn't scrapbook my pages of high school. So I thought this would be kind of fun. So that this would be referenced to my mother. Being the volleyball mom. And then, you know, the spike and stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool to pick up. Um, I don't really see a lot of volleyball stuff. So I kind of got those to play on it. And then my daughter's boyfriend loves ducks. So when I saw this, I picked this one up because I thought it would be kind of cute to add that to my stash. So this one's called Duck Duck Goose. 
Then these, I just called my name when um, I saw the banners. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut it as a cut apart or what, but it's from XX, XOXO collection or name of the paper. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then here was another volleyball one I picked up. Has all these people serving. So I got that one. And then I don't know what it is about space, but I really thought they were kind of cute. So I got this one. It's from uh, Rocket Man. And then on the back, it has all these random sayings, which I thought were super cool. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> then I found... <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Then I found one that <laughs> had um, little fish skeletons or scales for kitty cats. And I loved how one side was green and one side was white. So that was kind of cool. This again called my attention with the color concepts. So I picked this one up. And then on the back it's just basic. And I think this was my last one from Photoplay. I just loved how they were cards. I feel like I can cut them apart and use them as little um, tabs or inserts. But then the back had this co concept. Which kind of reminds me of the other one. So I wonder if they're from the same line. No, they're not. I guess that would be the collection right there. So that is what I picked up from Photo Play. So let's put that away. And so my last <laughs> place that I went to, which I feel I always spend the most at, believe it or not, is called Scrap That in New Jersey. Oh, my bad. Let's stop that for a moment. There was another place. So before we get to that one, because that one is really big. So this one that I went to was called Creative Creations. And they had a mixture of Graphic 45, uh, 49 and Market, Elizabeth Craft Designs, um, Stampera. I mean, they really had everything I felt like I wanted, not that I needed, but my pocket said you can't afford it. <laughs> so um, they had, I went to their shop twice, one on Friday and one on Saturday. So there was a deal on Saturday that I was able to get, which is why you see a little bit more here that I probably anticipated buying. But um, I'm not a planner essential with Elizabeth Craft Designs, but I uh, like their dies to incorporate into other things that I have going in my head of things I want to do. So that's why I kind of picked up some of their stuff. So 49 and Market has this new, I believe this is brand new, um, they're wishing uh, their gardenia collection. It's like all random colors, like a rainbow. So I picked this up because I love having small embell embellishments. Look how tiny those hearts are. Those are stickers. I mean, here's my pinky nail. They're smaller than that. It's crazy. I picked this one up because I like it. Honestly, didn't even know that they had this available. And seeing it in person versus seeing it on a computer screen, obviously, is always different for me. So I'm really glad that they had this available in their in their um, booth, and so I got that. Then, um, like I said, they had Graphic 45, and I've been noticing online that a lot of people have um, this collection. I keep going backwards. Okay, here we go. Sorry, guys. I've noticed online a lot of people have this collection um, on back order or you know limited in their stock. So when they had this there, I picked it up. I can't wait to play with this because. I got a few things of Graphic 45 and I really like their concept and, and imagery and colors. So this one screamed to me. So I acquired this one. This one let's just look real quick because I'm excited. I cannot get the focus right. Okay, so here is the um, Life's a Bowl of Cherries collection. And they give you three of each one. So you got cuddle cards and you got the green. And then this one is red polka dots. And then you got your cherries on the other end, other side. I really like that you get three of everything. The plaid. Their paper smells different. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's, it has a different smell to it. 
and then here is um their whole life is cherries super pretty and then here are their blues oh that's so gorgeous here are their cherries oh, so glad i got this Here is the red flowers, and then with their cherry bushes, or plants, I think they're plants. And then the last page. So pretty. And so they also had um, their assorted ephemera bits, which, you know what, I don't want to make a mess because there's other stuff I want to show you. So we'll just look from it on the back. So you basically get all your ephemera pieces to go with the paper collection that I just showed you. So I'm really glad I got that. Then they also had the new book six, which I was, I'm still patiently waiting for scrapbook.com to notify me. And when I saw it in their shop and I saw that it was the exact same price, I got it. Why? Because why am I going to pay for shipping <laughs> when it's right there and it's the same price? So, you know, that, that was what made my decisions on a lot of things I picked up and I'm showing you guys was because either the price was the same, but I can have it now and not pay for shipping or um, I got a good deal. So this one um, is the Remnants, Remnants, yeah, book six. And so it's, it's just, I don't know what it is, but I just love these. Um, so they're double sided. These are the thinner, uh, papers. Let me make sure I get on frame. Ledgers. Oh, it's gorgeous. I really gotta start making stuff with this. And I do believe they have dies that might go around this, um, to cut them out unless you want to fussy cut them which probably would be cheaper i just love that it's almost all ledgers and that's like amazing like this is already a collage for you it's like a book of just ledgers in my mind that's what it is because that's what i see is the majority is just ledgers i love this oh i'm in heaven So I think those might be one and a half punch punches. And again, you can make these cut aparts um, and use them as tags or just utilize the page as it is. Now, I do believe the last time I showed one of these books, which was book two, um, once you get halfway, they duplicate again, but then the pages are thicker. So here you can cut them out and use them as ephemera. I love all this. It's so pretty. And it kind of makes it look like the carbon copy. I don't know if you guys can kind of tell. Like if it was an actual carbon copy, that's kind of like what the paper looks like. But obviously it's not a carbon copy. <laughs> But if you remember back in the day, whenever you signed something, you took out the piece underneath and that was your carbon copy and evidence of it. So here is now the thicker ones. You can hear it, right? So these are basically everything we just went through, but now in a thicker um, cardboard, not cardboard, um, cardstock where these are thinner. So if you're definitely using something as a tag, I would suggest to take it from your back of your book if you've never used one of these which i have not used one yet i just been acquiring them and so that one is again number six so glad i got that one and then they had number five and even though that's on my wish list for scrapbook.com since they have them in stock i'm like i'm already here again so i got one and we'll go through it real quick so these colors are different they're more to me i guess more of a vintage fall brown co scale concept 
The thing I do like also is that the patterns and the style are similar but different as well. So you're not getting the same thing duplicated from one book to the other. I do have to figure out how to get book one and three because those would be the two books I don't have. Ugh, love that. So yeah, so far, so like I like both books, but I want to say that book six is my ultimate favorite so far. Um, I just like the fact that they're all ledgers in there to choose from. Oh, well, that's so pretty too. And if you're able to cut this out with an X-Acto knife, you could definitely utilize the middle portion on something else. But if you don't have an X-Acto knife to punch that out or a die to punch that out, um, then you just you know won't be able to utilize the middle portion in something else as well. That's pretty. Oh, I like that tag. And then we're back to the same patterns, but now thicker. So again, that one here is book five. So again, I got book five and six. And so the deal that I got was you buy three Elizabeth Craft designs and you get one free. So um, I didn't know about that to be on, on Saturday's event. On Friday, I did pick up this one. And so this one is um, their Halloween vibes, but no surprise there, right? As I've been explaining, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. And so this girl grabbed my attention and I love the October 31st. Um, little tag there with the apothecary and the potions so I did pick up this one and then during yeah during the um Saturday deal I did pick up the deal concept and so I saw that scrapbook.com didn't have this one available anymore and so I definitely picked this one up it's more their craft studio collection um so I did my homework the night before because I wanted to make sure I wasn't buying anything that the pricing was different and stuff like that. Um, if you're able to do that, I definitely would recommend it because you do want to make sure you're getting a good deal and supporting the small businesses, right? So um, this one's from their Craft Studio 2 and I do like this girl. She's so cute and all this stuff. I got that one and then I also got this stamp set and this one's called Frames. And then their dies, this one actually was a brand new one that was just released. So with their die set, they actually have um, ideas on the back that you can see how they utilize it or incorporate it into the crafts. So this one's called Number Enforcers, Number Reinforcers for 2032. This one is a Curves Library Pocket. So again, it gives you all the different options there and it shows you in the back the pictures and then this one here is 1981 and then it's planner essentials 55 and it's a file folder page with pockets and so basically these would cut out and be a stitch and you can insert it because it doesn't go to the very far edge of the line it's more of like an insert so if you see here in your image you would put in a pocket of your um, a tag of your choice in the pocket. So again, the whole purpose is to use our planners, but I want to see about ut utilizing them in something else. So then they had this other one that was a Sidekick Essential 28 file folder page. And this one is obviously a different scale and size, if you can tell, because it ends right here and this one goes further down. So I did like both of them. Um, it does add different um, pieces to uh, die cut. This one, the same thing. It gives me my little file folder with some die and then more tags. And then this one, like a little paper clip thingy. So again, it gives you kind of the same concept telling you and showing you how to incorporate the die itself. And then I picked up this big giant one. Um, I just love the tab concept and the a different, um, what are they called? Embellishments, I guess, or yeah, 
And so again, it shows you on the back how to utilize it. So again, I picked all of this up from Creative Creations. So if you want to check them out. And then um, now we will get to the last one. <laughs> and so the last one I did choose or did go to was Scrap That. It was actually my first day shopping on Friday. Um, mainly because I was going to take a couple of classes and I don't, didn't want to miss out on any of their product if it had sold out. So I did go and purchase a few things that they had in their shop um, that I liked. So we'll just go here and there. So they did have the Simple Stories um, Say Cheese at the Park collection, which I'm glad about because I didn't pick it up when it was available, hoping that they had it. <laughs> so um, I got this one that's, oh, uh, this is not Say say cheese at the park this one's called retro summer so it shows you on the back all the different ones and i really liked the summer color concept that they had there so i grabbed that one the say cheese at the park i think this is for tomorrowland so i picked this one up so i can do some title pages this one i think is the Frontierland. this one is fantasy land I love how they change the colors for each group cluster. This one's Adventureland. Love that hippo. Then I scored some enamel dots. Um, I didn't really want to be specific to um, Say Cheese or Say, yeah, Say Cheese Frontier enamel dots. I just looked at the colors of what I know I don't have in my stash. So these happen to be Say Cheese of the Park. One is a Tomorrowland and Frontier. So I grabbed those two. And then this one happens to be the Retro Summer. So I grabbed that one. Then I also found the Retro Summer Ephemera Pack. So you can see on the back all of those goodness. Super fun. Look at that lawn chair and the bathing suit and that ice cream cone. It's just everything. I love it. Then they also had um, the Bits and Pieces Say Cheese of the Park. This one's for the adventure. So I can utilize those. Look at that alligator. And then another hippo. Oh, I love it. And then they had this one that was on Frontier. So you have like pirates and the bears and stuff like that. Then they had this one for Tomorrowland. I like the little go-karts. So cute. And then the burger. I think they have a burger. Then they had one that was fantasy. And then they have Dumbo. So cute. On the sword in the sun. Oh, and they have little Tinkerbell. I didn't even notice that. Then they had um, their foam stickers. Now, I need to utilize these more often. But I wanted to get these because I wasn't sure if I would utilize them in this collection. But I don't have the sticker pack, so I felt like I should. So again, these are um, stickers just with a foam backing to them already. So you get two sides of it. I love the Haunted Mansion. So I grabbed those. And then they also had the one for Fantasy. So I picked up those. And I, I mean, you don't really have to utilize these for the appropriate collection because technically they're yours. You do with them as you choose, right? Adventure. I mean, it could be just like a, what if you're doing a Halloween thing, right? I don't know why I automatically went there, but you know, what if you're dressing up and you want to utilize that on your scrapbook page? It doesn't have to be Disney. And then this last one that I snagged was um, the Tomorrow one. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this in previous hauls because I believe it came out last year. And then they had, um, I think this is just a random brand. I don't know what brand this is from, but it was 82 pieces and it was like all summer. So I liked it because I thought that you could incorporate that with other collections. And some of them do have a glitter, like a, what do you call it, a glossy accents type of shine to it. So I picked that up. They also had um, one that was called Celebrate with a bunch of numbers. And you never know when you need a number color, right? So I grabbed that one. 
they had another um bits and pieces of harvest market collection and i love a good scarecrow so i grabbed that one and then another one i found um this one again has that little glossy accents it's all like nautical and mermaids and my niece loves mermaids so i figured i picked this one up and we can probably make some cards or something together so i grabbed that one and then they had these stencils that were all hearts and i love having random stuff just you know different size hearts to put as background so i grabbed this one and then the stamps that they had um i didn't know they had tracy hay which i've been acquiring from the hobby lobby which now no longer has them because they clearance them out so um this one they had with the dinos so i grabbed this one then they had one with um like i think it's sea creatures so i picked this one up and then this one i guess is their own because it's scrap that which is their company and it kind of gave me the tracy hay thing so i picked this one up And then um, this one they had, again, I just liked it for the cameras. I thought that was very cool. And the bicycle, and I don't really have anything in my stash. So I got this one, and then it, to my surprise, it also had a stencil with it. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I grabbed that one. Then they had um, some packages of glitter confetti vials. I don't know why I always gravitate toward purple, but I grabbed this one. They also sold some magnets. Um, these would probably be too thick to put inside a um, folio, but I picked them up because I do want to use some of my resin molds, and some of my resin molds are thicker that I wanted to put a magnet behind to put on a refrigerator. So I figured let me pick up some more because they were a reasonable price, so I got them. And then they had some red line tape, and I want to say this is uh, a quarter of an inch or maybe a half maybe a half um, and I don't have any of this width so I picked this up then they had also these cute little I don't know about you but when I see small things I gravitate toward them I thought this would be perfect to use in my um, I don't know for what to be honest with you they're just so tiny and so adorable anyway so I got this I know they're for bead scoops but you know I'm not gonna use it for that and then um, this was smaller than the one I've seen for Sizzix, so I figured I was, might get this just in case I need it. Because uh, you never know when you need little containers, so I grabbed those two. And then some of the other things that I found were um, the decorative brads. So I picked these up. This one's from the collection here and there. I just liked it because it was more adventure themed. So again, these brads don't have a backing. They're flat with an adhesive... Um, to them. This one is from Retro Summer, which goes with um, some of the collections I have been acquiring. I just love that popsicle stick. And then here are some from the Say Cheese. Um, this one's from Fantasy. And again, I get another Tinkerbell, which I love. This one's from Tomorrow. This one's from Adventure. That hippo. Do you see the hippo? Hilarious. And then this one here is from the Magic Kingdom one. Then they also sold some Snap um, 4x6 refills. Like, I need any of these because I have a whole drawer full of them. But you never know, so I acquired two. This one has 10, this one has 12, but this one's a multi-pack. And these are just 4x6, so I picked these up. Then they had a lavender snap album <laughs> so i got this one i don't have lavender in my stash nor do i probably need it but i love purple so i grabbed this one to add to my collection and then last but not least is all the paper so i'll do the singles first um i did acquire the simple vintage october 31st collection but only in a six by eight paper pad i believe it comes in so when I saw that they had open stock there, I decided to take advantage of it in the 12 by 12 form. So they did have a single, um, what are these? 12 by 12 uh, sticker. So I picked this one up, as you can see. The kids holding the pumpkins are my favorite part. 
And then they have the 12 by 12. So I did get two of each one. So here is the front and then the back. And then I also acquired this one, which is like a, reminds me of a, a page in a book. And then I got cut aparts. And again, this is all from the same collection from Simple Stories. And then you got spiders in the back. Oh, this is so cool, the cut aparts. We have bats. We have stars. And you have a haunted house with witches. Oh, and then the pumpkins. So pretty with the stars and this dress look. And then you have the vintage, um, the boo at the top, and then you have polka dots. So that was all the open stock. And then I I got the Say Cheese collection 12 by 12 packs because they didn't have any of the 6 by 8 so I got one from each one. You can definitely see, you're definitely getting all these um, pages and then you're getting all, you get two uh, cut aparts and you get a sticker sheet. So that is showing you the sticker sheet in the back. So even though I didn't pick up a sticker pack with this because they didn't have one available, I did get one with each collection. And then this is a fantasy. Again, the same concept. You get the two here, you get the stickers in the back. You kind of get the same color um, pattern concepts. I got the one for adventure. Again, the same thing. I got the one from Frontierland. I love the skulls. And then, and then this one is, I think, the main Magic Kingdom. Oh, sorry, I should have showed you those stickers. And then, so this was Scrap That's Collection. Um, as you can see again, Halloween. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to show this to you guys because I've never seen it before. I've seen the rest of them. These are stickers. Um, are they? Yes, they're stickers. So I think that's pretty cool. I love the colors in this. Ugh. Stranger Things, ha <laughs> ha So sorry, but that's kind of funny. So they're just, um, you know, just random pages to utilize and they just have backgrounds. I think that's so pretty. This didn't have a collection name to it. Um, oh, I guess it's called Very Strange Things is the collection name. I don't know if you went to their website, if you would find it on their website i don't really know um but definitely give it a shout or a shot if you're looking into that happy halloween this gives me like scream vibes and then this one with the jacqueline so this collection was only seven dollars if you were wanting to know so that was pretty much everything um hopefully you guys stayed till the end so you saw everything i chose but if you didn't obviously you wouldn't know this but um i i guess it is what it is but i do appreciate your time and your patience in the sense of seeing everything i'm unfolding um i didn't open up all the seed cheeses because i didn't want to make this longer than it already is but i'm pretty sure you've come across that one that collection from last year um, as, as I have, but if you do want me to do another video opening all those up, definitely leave a comment down below and I will definitely do that for you guys. Um, if you have any questions from anything I acquired, please let me know. I'm more than happy to get back to you with that information. I do know it was a lot to show you. Again, um, let me show you the websites in case you didn't catch it from the beginning or you didn't think you wanted, you needed it. Um, but here are all the places. There are, as you see, many of them that I did not show you anything that I purchased because I didn't buy anything from there. Not because they didn't have good stuff. It was just nothing that I was of interest. 
So I will show you a video hopefully um, next week of the classes that I did um, and the makes that I made with them so you guys can see what I, I did. I do know that sometimes the classes do repeat from location to location if that vendor or exhibitor is going to be there. So definitely look into it if it's something you're interested in. Um, and if you do have Facebook, go on their Facebook page because I do know the location for Orlando had their own Facebook group. So the exhibitors did post comments or um, showed you things of what they were showing in their um, classes, which I thought was very helpful. Um, if you don't have Facebook, you can create a dummy account just to get information from there. Um, it's not something you have to do, but it's just something I would, I would suggest. Um, so you're more informed than anything. And I think that's it. So thank you again for your time. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for being here. And I do love your comments. So even if it's just to say hi, that's fine. Because <laughs> I would say hi right back. Um, you guys have a great rest of your day no matter what time you're watching. And I will catch you on the next video. And have a crafty day. Take care.